Western artist Paul Van Ginkle with his wife Kristen have created an amazing home blending exotic antiques with contemporary function. The house sits on half an acre and the challenging part about this lot is it's very sloped. So one of the great things was being a commercial architect I pulled in a lot of favors from my commercial um, engineers. So structurally we have upwards of 65 24 to 28 foot deep piles. So we really built the foundation as if it was a commercial building, not as if it was a residential home. Paul and I had traveled to San Miguel de Allende in Mexico, and we're, we were visiting there and we also got married there and we fell in love with the place. And um, they have wonderful old doors and, and tables and light fixtures of which we brought a 54 foot container back filled with all of these 45 fixtures, four sets of doors, a 10 foot spiral staircase that we had built and designed into the house. One of the great things obviously is we both love this taste and this style because it's not for everyone you know it's heavy and it's very rustic and so on mm -hmm. but all our lives we both really loved Mexico and uh, the rugged heavy furniture. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Western influence, um, I guess, was tied all together with Paul's artwork and, and paintings of horses and, and natives and whatnot. This is the dining room and we love to entertain. Um, this table was built for us in Mexico, it's solid mesquite. It took six guys to lift the top of this into the house and they were all grunting and groaning. This cabinet or cava that they call it uh, houses all of our china and combination of Mexican China and from England and all over the place. Um, moving right along we have our kitchen which again is really built for entertaining and uh, the kitchen cabinetry is all naughty alder and one of the key things that we wanted to have was they picked all the pieces that most people would throw out because they don't like these big knots with holes in them but that's what we wanted. So we had them, you know, save as many of those pieces as they could and incorporate them into the kitchen. We have this glorious exterior deck here that is 40 feet long by 12 feet deep. Just a really great living space. The house really transforms itself at, at nighttime with the lights because they're, they're all just really dramatic. So it looks a lot different. So my husband and I just love to put the lights on low and and uh, set a different mood. This is another set of nine foot doors and uh, it's old mesquite. These ones would be a minimum of 450 years old and our framers and our and our drywallers cursed at us many many times over because nothing about these doors is square. Um, that didn't bother us, that's the kind of character we were looking for. And these doors are just so beautiful and ornate and, and really quite feminine compared to the other heavy mesquite doors. And these lead into our um, music room and my office. The only room that faces east that doesn't have the western exposure. It's a wonderful morning room to be in because it has the morning sun. Takes us into our master bedroom uh, which has a double-sided gas fireplace. This takes us into our master ensuite. Being a real bath person who focused the bathtub so that you can look at the double-sided fireplace and see out at the glorious view at the same time. Every girl's dream is a great big closet, which um, we have here, and we've got this main island in the middle of it, um, houses 10 drawers for each side. Behind these doors is the studio and office for my husband, Paul, who's working right now. Um, this space was designed to be light and airy and has a 20-foot ceiling and incorporates a uh, large um, hydraulic easel for Paul so that he can do paintings upwards of 12 feet square. So really the combination of Mexican ends and antiquities and light fixtures and old barn boards beautiful paintings, it all showcases this wonderful combined Western image. I'm blown away by what Kristen has done here and 
and her skill and her ability. Um, she had this vision and she incorporated my likes and my tastes and my wants and my desires and everything else into this ex extraordinary home. Um, it's our home, it's also my place of work, which is very inspiring for me. And even though it's under the same roof, um, there's a wonderful separation of play and work. So it, uh, it's very inspiring and I'm so proud of her. Mm -hmm. yeah.